Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're here for the first time, welcome. My name is Martina and for my regular viewers, welcome back. So today I'm, go I'm going to show you how to create um, white text with a transparent background. I have been working on a project um, recently for um, a t-shirt project recently and I came up with the idea to have some white text with a transparent background and I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Well, eventually, of course, I had to go um, do some research on YouTube and I found the answer to my question. So I thought, of course, I would share with you today. So I'm using paint.net to, to do this, right? So this is a, this is when I first opened the, the um, application. This is what I'm seeing. So I'm going to go to image, canvas size, and I'm going to change the width and the height. I'll leave it at maintain aspect ratio. So I'm just going to change width to 2,500 pixels. And we're going to have the height of 1,875 pixels, right? Um, this size seems to be working very good with Teespring. I'm using Teespring to, to create my t-shirts. And when I um, insert this size, um, I get the check mark, a good check mark. Okay, it's acceptable. Okay, so if, like I said before, I want to create white text with a transparent background, right? As you can see here, my page is white. And if I go to type any white text, um, you're not gonna see anything, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do, I am going to um, color this page black, okay? So I'm going to click on the paint bucket and um, I'm going to select the color black for primary color. And I'm just going to click on the blank space. Okay, that's the first thing we're gonna do. So if I want, if I'm gonna write on this blank page with a white text, I'm gonna see it. Okay. So the next thing I'm I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on the text tool, click on my page. Right now it's set up black, so you wouldn't see anything. Okay. So I'm gonna change it to white for text, and we're gonna see something now. Okay. So let me just. Increase that the font so you can see what's happening. I have a size of yeah. So let's change our font. Let's see. There's something nice. And I'm going to write something different here. Okay, that's a basic thing. Of course, you could change your font, you could change, you could change your font and the size and everything. But this is the basic, right? You're looking for white text. So the next thing I, I'm going to do now, I'm going to make this black background white. Okay, so I'm going to go back into the um, paint bucket. No, sorry, that's incorrect. I'm going to click on the magic wand and click on the blank black space. As you can see here, you see dashes all around and all around the text and everything. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on delete button. Now we have the background is transparent. Transparent. I know it's transparent because when you see these checkered boxes, you know that um, your image or your text has a transparent background, right? Let me just bring this up closer so you could see. Zoom in. So even though I've done that, you would see now in between like the O and the O's, the E, the um, center is still black. So what we need to do, I'll make it even bigger again. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm still using the um, magic wand, right? And uh, it's still, what I'm going to do, I'm go yes. So I'm just going to click on the black spot there. Delete that. Click on the black spot. Delete, press the delete button. Click there, press delete, and that's it. So I'll continue doing this with the rest of text. Okay. 
Okay, done. Now, just for information's sake, if you want, perchance you want to fill inside the O, for instance, in a different color, um, so you can select on the paint bucket, choose a color, let's choose red, for instance, and just click inside of the O, and there you go, right? So it can be creative from here on. All right, folks, if you enjoyed this video, click on the thumbs up button. Leave a comment for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to click on the bell next to, next to the subscribe button. In doing so, you get a notification each time I upload a new video. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.